All right, y'all, Madam Web is coming out tomorrow and reactions have gone up for the film and you already know mine. If you're on the channel, you can check mine out and I'll have mine in the end of this video, but holy smokes, I was not a fan. I gave it a one out of 10 on my review. I probably could have gave it a point or two more, but I think I gave Morbius a two or three and I like that more. So we're gonna go ahead and check out and see what fellow critics Fans and content creators thought about Madam Web who have already seen it. Let's check out their comments and see what they think. All right, guys, so this is E Man's reviews. Love this content creator, man. E Man is great. Says, winning the Madam Web with already low expectations. Sydney Sweeney did a wonderful job, and I liked how some of the powers were utilized. Felt like Sony was trolling us the whole time for not having Spider Man in the film. It's better than Morbius, but also forgettable very forgettable I, I feel like i'm gonna forget this in a couple of weeks but moving on to tessa mama's geeky my good friend says madam webb suffers from a weak villain cringy dialogue and a lot uh, too long runtime however there are a few bright spots mixed in like incredible costumes and the always funny adam scott which i gotta agree those are actually the two i like the cast tries on what they're given let's head on over to 3c films who says madam webb is an embarrassing mess Talented stars wasted on probably the worst comic book movie I have ever seen. Filled with atrocious dialogue, awkward editing, and all around laughable structure, I sat there baffled scene by scene someone improved this. M the memes will redeem it. And the memes are coming, y'all. The memes are coming. We've got Shabazz, the movie podcast, who says, Madam Webb's bizarre choices create a messy narrative and unintentional humor. The cast chemistry is a miss in a film lacking substance and a memorable villain. There is good news, however, Adam Scott shines in his brief role. And yes, he is so good. But wow, I, I like what Shab Shabazz says here because honestly, I did not like the chemistry with the actresses. I think they're great actresses, don't get me wrong, but I thought the chemistry was just kind of off with them. But let's go to the next one here. We've got Carson Timar, who BP reviews over on Twitter. Madam Webb is actually atrocious. Oof, completely incoherent with some of the most embarrassing technical craft of any wide release in recent memory. It is wild how misleading the film is in being in marketing to hide how empty and pointless it actually is. Avoid at all costs then we've got james preston my man james p pool who says madam webb is totally fine there's really not a lot to say here the leads are charming dakota johnson is a witchy weirdo the slasher final destination meets superheroes vibes are there but there's just not a lot whole lot to it not a disaster just kind of there which i'm glad somebody is not calling it a disaster because a lot of these <laughs> reviews are calling it atrocious but I 100% agree that it just, there's, there's nothing. I agree with the point that there's just not a lot to it. It's just there. Let's go on to this post here from Daniel B Batista, excuse me, who says, Madam Webb is wildly entertaining in all the wrong ways. Dakota Johnson weaves through a tangled plot full of camp that feels closer to early 2000s adaptions of the genre. Sydney Sweeney, Celeste O'Connor, and Isabella Merst are waste. However, Adam Scott, as Ben Parker rules. I didn't know if they revealed that or not, so. But uh, the real roundup says a lackluster superhero origin story that, while moderately entertaining at times, can overcome its ridiculous plot and cringeworthy dialogue. Madam Web feels like a B grade Spider Man knockoff rather than a legitimate Spider Man spin off. It feels like a bad. Oof, you know what? We're not gonna go there. Sorry, Spider Man Lotus is worse. <laughs> and then finally just mine i just said so madam webb suits look great that's about it the film is directionless horrible line delivery and screenplay not great chemistry between the characters product placement and laughably bad bad action sequences make it a complete miss y'all madam webb was a rough one guys it was a rough one y'all but you know what I can at least say that I laughed a lot in the movie and not for a good reason. Y'all gotta let me know your thoughts down in the comments though. What do you think about these reactions? Are you going to see Madam Web for yourself? If so, let me now know down in the comments how you feeling about it. Do you think it's gonna actually end up surprising you? Hey, for some it might end up being like a cult classic or have a cult following, but man, y'all, I I did not like this movie. <laughs> let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And hey, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button down below and we'll see you next time. Geekly Goods.